Hello again, I am Blunty. Now one of the common themes that dribbles on in an endless cyclical progression of tedium whenever anyone mentions an Apple product or an Android product, even in passing, is whom copied whom. But here's the dirty little secret, my sweet little interwebnet pop tarts. At the end of the day, as far as the end user is concerned, who gives a wet fart? So long as people get a thing that does the thing that they need or want it to do, doesn't matter. But this morning I came across a post from a guy who not only has one of the earliest Android development handsets, which looks like this by the way, and as you can see it bears a rather striking resemblance to the most popular handsets of the day, those being Blackberry devices and the early Windows mobile phone thingy, whatever they called it back then, I don't know, it was some tedious stupid long name. But not only that, he's actually running on a, the earliest version of Android to ever see the public eye, and this was early in 2007. And as you can see, it also bears a striking resemblance to the most popular phones of the day, those being early Windows devices and BlackBerry devices. Looks very, very familiar. But of course, 2007 is also the year where Steve Jobs held aloft the very first iPhone to the world and everyone went, oh. And the Android developers apparently shit their pants in a panic because all of a sudden Android devices start looking and acting a hell of a lot more like the Apple iPhone than they ever did before. But of course the iPhone had its own progenitors. It wasn't really the first to do anything particular that it did. It was the first to sort of put them all in the same box and, and look so pretty and act so smooth and everything. But you had stuff like the uh, Palm Pilots and even before the Palm Pilots, Apple's own uh, Apple Newton, which was a horrible disaster of a thing. But the concepts were there. It was a big touchscreen device. You interacted with it with the touchscreen. There was no main keyboard and had little apps and icons and stuff and all this familiar stuff that eventually grew into what uh, are smartphones today. But it really is an indisputable fact that as soon as the Apple iPhone hit the world, mobile handset makers and Android developers everywhere suddenly realized the game had changed on them. Apple went, ha, ha, I'm changing the rules, suckers. Try and keep up. So everyone around just wrenched on the handbrake, did an awkward squeal around the corner and desperately tried to accelerate down the road that Apple was on. And boom, all of a sudden Android's hardware and Android's interface started to take on a very familiar visage. And yes, it was Apple inspired. This is indisputable it's irrefutable the proof is right there for you this is what android used to look like this is what it looks like now and this is what apple iphones look like dude you can't it's it's a fact i'm not trying to provoke a fanboy war here i'm not this is an opinion this is just the things that have happened the only point here is Apple figured it all out first. They got it together first, they got it out the door first. They took the riskiest step and launched this thing at all market where nothing like it existed. And everyone else followed them. And you know, I've been doing this long enough to already predict that in the comments section there will be people, fanboys, reacting to this video before it's even finished. They will get sort of a third of the way through and went, Oh, he's, he's saying Apple is better than Android, I'm going to react and accuse him of being a fanboy. And I couldn't care less really I know I'm not a fanboy I stand by my record you can look at the reviews of everything I published about on uh, Android or the iPhone or Apple devices and whatever you will see for yourself that I am fair unbiased and open I like Android devices I like Apple devices uh, my current phone is the iPhone 4s for my own personal reasons and no I'm not going to justify them for you here um, but, you know, within my arm's reach, I've also got an Android device. It's the Samsung Galaxy S2. And uh, over there, there's another Android device over there. And uh, I've got another iPhone over here. And uh, uh, over... Th no, wait, that's down there. I've got the Android gaming device that I reviewed recently. And you know what? I ain't no fanboy. I'm just a fan of discussion. So what I'm actually hoping for out of this video is an open discussion down below about who did what part first and sort of tracing it back to who was inspired by who and what did what best and what are the benefits of this and that without going into a stupid fanboy. We try and keep it civil, people. We can have this discussion without freaking out and calling people names. I promise you it is possible. Unlikely, but possible. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty and I will catch you next time.